Okay, so this is a quick demo of the Amiga 1200 running a program called FM Synth, which is an FM synthesizer uh, from, I think, like 1990, uh, yeah, 93, 94. There you go. So, um, yeah, so kind of an early soft synth of sorts, although this one actually does render out the samples ahead of time. So you make your changes to your modulation and all the other things going on with your operators and such, and then you get a result. So, in this case, I have one here. So, so this one does not necessarily render in real time. Uh, it actually does sort of calculate it and then it turns it into a, a playable instrument. So um, let's just load one, like a little voice. Let's try angel voice, what does that sound like? There's a ton already in here. So you uh, don't hear anything right now. Yeah, and then you hit calculate. So it thinks about it, renders it out, and then you have the sound like this. And you can actually hear the loop, basically. I think it tries to find a good loop point. It automatically does that for you. Um, so, and if we put it in a little song here, we just got the, um, P the PTX-8 playing. Now, what's interesting, too, is uh, you can't really hear the, the recording, but the Amiga has uh, stereo, but it's sort of weird. It actually does two voices in the left channel and two voices in the right channel, so you end you know, up with a very interesting hard left and right panning effect. Um, so yeah. So I'll put up a different sound, for example. Let's see here. Bass drum is one I was using in an earlier song. So take that and calculate it. Also an interesting feature that I, I kind of find interesting as well, and I'm not probably using it the way it was intended, but check it out. You have this loop option. So it takes the wave, Kind of zoom out a little bit here. You can click in different points on the actual wave and it sort of pins that. Switch it off. So it's, you can hit certain tones and just get it just right. Basically, it provides a... Also, I found interesting is if you actually do the chord mode right here, pick different chords, and when you calculate it, it'll actually produce an interesting sort of a auto chord. So let's do load. It's an angel voice again. Let's see if I find that one. That might work well. Okay. So you hear it. So you see here the chord. We do none. So also what I like is if you actually do it, you'll listen to it as it's, it sort of renders it and plays it while it's rendering. So yeah, um, so that's this program in a pretty quick nutshell. Um, you also have an interesting thing, the filter, which actually turns the Amiga's filter, the hard filter on and off. It's just a flat cutoff. I don't know exactly what frequency it's at, but it just kind of muddies it up. It gets some of the brightness off, which I don't really care for too much, but anyway.